If you're a business owner and you're working from home, you want to make sure that you're claiming what you're entitled to. If you're using Xero, you want to make sure that the use of home is included. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to talk about what you can claim, but that's at the end of the video after we look at what we need to do in Xero. Okay, we're on the Zero dashboard and the first place we're going to go to is the chart of accounts. So we're going to go to accounting, scroll down to the chart of accounts. Now, this is a business expense, so we want to add use of home as a code in Zero. If we go to our expenses, scroll down, we can see it doesn't exist already. So they're kind of an alphabetical order. So we've got travel at 494, so I'm going to add a new one as 495. So I'm going to say add an account. It's an overhead account. What did I say? 495, I think. And I'm going to say use of home. So this is the cost to the business. So I'm not going to call it working from home allowance because this is not for the individual. This is the business cost. I'm going to save that code. Then what I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to accounting and I'm going to go to manual journals. I'm going to add a new journal and I'm going to do this at my year end date. So I'm just going to say use of home and my year end finished 30th of September, just gone past. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to debit the use of home account and it's going to be based on simplified expenses from HMRC. So it's 52 weeks and I can use the calculator if I didn't know how much it was multiplied by six, which we do know is £312. And then the other side of the entry, the credit side of the entry, depends on whether you're a sole trader or a limited company. So if Rosie is a sole trader, I'm going to start putting an ST, and that's simply because I put ST on these codes, and I would enter funds introduced by Rosie. So we're crediting her account, if you like, by £312. And then we would simply post that journal. If our business was a limited company, we wouldn't have funds introduced. Instead, we have a, have a director's loan. If we start typing in the word directors here, we have code 835 directors loan account for Rosie. So it's exactly the same thing. Sole trader, limited company, you're debiting the new code you've set up use of home, which is an expense for your business, and you're crediting either funds introduced or directors loan account. £312 is a simplified amount. If you'd done the calculations and it was much higher than that, you might, for example, be putting in £600. That's a better result for the year. When you're happy with your journal, coded at the year end date, you would simply post. Okay, what can you claim when working from home? I would always suggest, if you're in the UK, that you head to HMRC's website and make sure that you have the most up-to-date information. We're talking about a business, so we're either talking about a sole trader or a limited company. Now, the easiest thing to do is to use what HMRC call simplified expenses, and that will allow you to claim £6 a week or £312 for a year. But what if you think, well, that's crazy. My costs are much higher than that. Then you need to look at calculating exactly what your costs are and seeing what you can claim. And that depends on whether you're a director of your limited company or if you're a sole trader. In both instances, what you're going to do is you're going to need to look at your property, look at the number of rooms, and you can exclude kitchens, bathrooms, and hallways, and see what percentage of your property is used for business, and then also what percentage of time that actual space is used. Then, if you are a limited company, if you're a director of a limited company, you're going to be able to claim for only incremental expenses. So normally that would mean gas, electricity, and if it's metered, water usage. So you're going to have to take the cost for the year. You're then going to do a calculation based on the amount of space used for your business. And here's an example.
For a sole trader, it's slightly better what you can claim for because you can also claim for other costs where there is a split between business and personal. So you can include mortgage interest, you can include council tax, and you can include home insurance in these costs. So again, here's an example for a sole trader. I hope you find the video useful. Make sure that you refer to HMRC and you know exactly what you're entitled to claim. Remember that I do offer one-to-one -one coaching if you need help with your zero account and I'll put a link in the description down below. But until next time, happy zeroing.